For people that don't understand what detailing is, I'm going to start by summarising very briefly some of the processes. Take the paint here. We would wash and clean this for many hours. It would have all the contaminants removed and then we would inspect with a specialist light form to check for swells and damage that are normally caused by abrasion, mainly in this country from the sand that's actually been rubbed against the surface. To remove that, there would be various forms of cutting compounds and pads on different types of machines polish, called buffers or polishers. Then we go around, we have a, a similar thing with glass. The glass itself can have water etching and stains on there. That can be machine polished just the same. Still use the same light source. We can check for swells, water spots, contaminants on the glass. Come down to the wheels. On the wheels, you get your usual brake dust. You can get some tar from the road. That, again, still use the same light source. We can see if there's any dirt and damage in there. And on some of these wheels, like these, we can even polish that with a machine polisher because it's a high chrome finish. Coming around to the interior, especially on a car this age, a classic car, very expensive, an Italian car. The lever in here, we're trying to clean the lever as good as we possibly can, but we don't want to damage the lever. And the idea is we're going to clean and feed the lever as well to keep it supple, which is really important in a hot weather like this with a strong UV light. This won't be just the lever, it'll be the plastics, the carpets inside. Then if we was to open up the engine bay, it'd be a similar thing in the engine bay. We use special degreasers, very expensive chemicals, special jet washes, then we blow dry all the engine bay, then it would all be dressed so it looks good for the dealerships. Mm -hmm.